Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about acid fast staining. Now, acid fast staining is a type of differential staining. And if you guys remember, in one of the previous video, we have talked about one more differential staining procedure called Gram staining. It differentiates between uh, Gram positive and gram negative bacteria based on their cell wall composition. Now what happens is there are certain bacteria that cannot be stained by gram stain. Okay, uh, Whatever you do they, they are very difficult to stain by gram staining procedure. And for such bacteria we use acid fast staining procedure. The reason behind this is again the difference in the cell wall composition of such bacteria. Now let me tell you the example of such bacteria first. Say for example Mycobacterium species. Mycobacterium tuberculosis which causes tuberculosis. Mycobacterium lepri which causes leprosy. These are the bacteria that cannot be easily stained by gram stain and to differentiate them we have to use acid fast stain. Once again, the reason behind this is difference in their cell wall composition. So such bacteria we will call acid fast bacteria. Just in a while you will know why. So such bacteria, acid fast bacteria cannot be stained uh, properly with gram stain. They cannot be differentiated by using gram stain. So we characterize them by using acid fast staining. Now what happens is, uh, in case of the uh, cell wall of mycobacterium, if you guys remember in gram positive we talked about a uh, thick layer of peptidoglycan. Gram positive bacteria contains a thick layer of peptidoglycan. Similarly in mycobacterium there is a thick layer of peptidoglycan and along with peptidoglycan it contains a thick waxy layer. This thick waxy layer is of thick lipid called mycolic acid. This mycolic acid is really waxy lipid. Okay, In mycobacterium it makes uh, approximately 60% of its cell wall. So it's really thick waxy lipid present in the mycobacterium. Now because of this uh, thick waxy layer it makes it very difficult for a stain to penetrate the cell wall and stain the bacteria. So this waxy lipid makes really uh, difficult for the normal ordinary aqueous stain that we use like crystal violet methylene blue. It makes it very difficult to stain the bacteria. And not only that by some means or by some dye if we stain these bacteria then it is very difficult to decolorize them. So if we stain these bacteria once, it will be very difficult to remove the stain. Even with the help of acid alcohol, it is going to be difficult to decolorize the cell. And because of this property, these organisms are called or these bacteria are called acid fast organism. Okay, And the other type of bacteria, they are uh, which does not have mycolic acid and will get decolorized, we will call them non-acid fast organisms. So, so now let's keep this in background and start with the acid fast staining procedure how we are going to stain and differentiate acid fast bacteria from non acid fast bacteria. Now if you guys remember in gram staining we saw that we need a primary stain that is going to stain all the cells then we use a decolorizing agent and then we use a counter stain. So the same uh, procedure is followed over here as in we are going to have a primary stain then a decolorizing agent then we will use the counter stain. So what we do over here is we take our sample and stain it with the primary stain carbol fuchsin. Carbol fuchsin is phenol based dye and it is soluble in lipid. So what happens? It is going to be soluble in the mycolic acid of the mycobacterium right so it is going to penetrate the cell wall so at the end of this step all the cells would have taken up the dye now next step would be to use the decolorizing agent 
Now before we do the decolorization step, uh, we are going to allow the smear to cool down because once it cools down, it is going to make the waxy layer of the cell a bit harder, okay? So it is going to be even more difficult uh, for such cell to decolorize. And we are going to use here acid alcohol as a decolorizing agent that is HCl and ethanol. And the main reason why these cells would not get decolorized is because the primary stain that we have used, carbofuxin, is much more soluble in the uh, waxy layer than in the acid alcohol okay it is more soluble in the waxy layer that is in the uh, cell wall of a bacteria than in acid alcohol so it is going to resist the decolorization and at the end of decolorization step they will remain red in color but the other type of bacteria which are non acid fast bacteria will lose the primary stain and become colorless now we will use the uh, counter stain because we want to have a clear look we want to differentiate between uh, acid fast and non acid fast so we will use the counter stain now the last step is to use the counter stain we are going to use the methylene blue that is just simply to differentiate between acid fast and non acid fast so the decolorized bacteria or the non acid fast bacteria are going to take up the methylene blue and they will appear blue in color so at the end of the procedure in microscope you are going to have red color cells that are acid fast bacteria and blue color cells that are non acid fast bacteria so so that's all about acid fast staining procedure the important thing that we need to remember over here is presence of mycolic acid which makes very difficult for ordinary uh, acquired stain to uh, stain the bacteria so that's all that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning